Joey Ramon has passed away, and uh, we just thought we'd uh, take this moment to reflect and uh, really uh, think about what he uh, brought to this earth. Some of the best lyrics that have ever been written by a junkie. That's right. You know, you know some of them? Still life goes on, tracks on my arms, and the number 13 is my good luck charm. No? You don't know that? Yeah. Well, I liked him. He was good. You know, punk rock's over now. And uh oh, I'm getting a ticket. This is cost me a lot of money, man. You want to go get it? Yeah. Uh, hang on, Sam. Uh, Mongolian dust storm. Mongolian dust storm. I'm not sure how these mics work. How close do you get to it? That's I'm good. not sure what good. the range is either, but he was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to take a little break here and take a sip of my mocha so I can get my brain working. Yeah. Well. Mongolian dust storm. Decided to switch to the Mongolian dust storm. Oh, that's the, uh, the dirty wind. Right yeah, I think it's rather shameful that we have to put up with this. You know, I'm gonna. I want to talk to the boss, but uh, who is that? Um, well, it seems like we ought to sprinkle Mongolia with water. Settle the dust. How did yeah. they get here? What do you do with this program? What's your thing? What's your format? Uh, man on the street. Just monologue, anything. Uh, poetry. Do you a lot of cut-ups with it or something? Cut-ups. Uh, you know, I, I only have three hours to make a show, so tomorrow I have to make it this afternoon. So I've, I've worked done like uh, two and a half hours. Okay. Well, yeah, I've been noticing this uh, haze. Yeah, here, it turned, yeah, haze. It like almost like forest fire haze. I had no idea it came from Mongolia. Now I, I think we ought to, uh, you know, in light of this thing in China, um, we should probably do something about this. <laughs> They're probably getting hit with it a lot worse than you know, China, wouldn't you think? Yeah, yeah. I just read about it today in the paper. Nobody ever mentioned it before. The China thing? Already? No, not the China thing, the Mongolian thing. Oh, the Mongolian thing. Well, you know, this thing with the airplane, that, that's a real crack-up. Um, yeah, you know, I think so too. Um, yeah, the greatest nation in the world gets bumped by this little plane, and uh, they're two different stories, you know, very different stories. Uh, who knows what the truth is? I mean, truth? What's that? Yeah. Uh, there's my truth, your truth. How do we get to any universal truth? That's a, a profound question that can only be taken up by the committee here in the Trident. <laughs> and I guess we're it. <laughs> truth. The Good. committee to re-elect Jimmy Carter? Jimmy Carter. The only Co president I ever voted for, actually. <laughs> the first and only. Remember now, he's got the mic. So. Well, no, we, no, I'm just we I'm both have the mic. It's a, it's a we thing. It's not like Ronald Reagan. That remember, was the greatest show on earth. That, Ronald like, who? I bought this. I bought. <laughs> I bought this mic. This is my mic. <laughs> <laughs> he used to talk to remember, but uh, uh, who's the uh, independent then? Remember John? Uh, whatever you know, George Bush didn't want this guy on. John, uh, the independent, the first independent candidate for president. Ah. Back there in uh, 1988. Uh, hey independent. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I voted, I didn't vote for either one of these clowns, um, Bush, no one. Shrub, or I voted for John Hegland. He was a natural law party candidate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who did you vote for? You know, actually, I didn't vote at all. I, I ah. haven't voted for a while. And you can't complain. Yeah, can't oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> well, yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you complain. That's all I do is complain. Yeah. Well, no, it seems like you, that's a, we're usually the people who complain the most who don't do anything about it. Right. But uh, Hagelin, what's the uh, what is the basis of the Natural Law Party? I, and well, that's a sincere question. I'm kind of curious. Yes. Well, he had solutions to everything on the planet that work. Can he get elected? No. If he did, he'd probably get his head blown off. You know, that's the way it works. Yeah. But he. But what's the what's the heart of the Natural Law Party? Remember when uh, uh, who's the uh, when Thomas Thompson Thomas the black uh, Supreme Court? Yeah. Uh, Judge, whatever you call him. Okay. Well, he was, he, you know, the discussions of natural law, his interest in national, natural law was uh, like a controversy at the time when he was being. Well, he should do. Really, uh, you should be talking in the mic. Oh, okay. Well, when he was, uh, when he was up for nomination, uh, his relationship to natural law and natural law philosophy was controversial, but I never really understood what it was they were talking about because I didn't follow it very closely. The main thing that uh, John Hagelin was against is this genetic engineering in our food uh -huh. and we're getting it rammed down our throat by uh, you know supposedly our elected officials and uh, that's why I voted for John Hagelin but <clears throat> you know these guys aren't we have a two-party system here uh, third parties are 
don't even have, have a chance. You know what it takes to get on the ballot as a third party candidate? Oh, yeah. It's Lots of money. It's all about money. So, um, you know, life as usual. Good. Well, there you have it. Natural law. Back to Jerry Ramon. <laughs> no. could, could we? I got to. I got to take a pause here. I think this Wait. guy wants to say something. Oh, he's off leash. Actually, now you're putting me yeah. in violation of like. Yeah, if this is, they'll gather this for evidence. <laughs> okay. Get it on camera. All right. What